What's going on guys? So I am at the 2024 Houston RV Show. We're going to take a look at this super compact and super affordable, really compact, small Catalina travel trailer. Now there's something, if you look at these little labels all over it, that's really going to stand out. And it's probably this back one back here that says all electric, which means that it doesn't have any onboard propane. So you see a generator up here. I'm theorizing that it comes with the generator, but I'll have to ask somebody. But what's also cool about this is the fact that it has a really great floor plan and the price is right, $14,999. That's maybe $2,000 higher than what this would have cost prior to COVID. So the prices are coming down a bit, but for a show price of $14.99, again, that's only about two grand higher than what this unit might have sold for prior to COVID. So again, this isn't too bad. We're gonna take a close look at this thing. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,396 pounds, a cargo capacity of 1,267 pounds. It's gonna have a dry weight of 3,112 pounds and a total length of 19 feet, six inches long. This is absolutely half ton towable and towable by a lot of mid to large size SUVs. You're just gonna to wanna to be sure that whenever you get this thing loaded up, especially if you throw the generator up front, that you're not exceeding your payload capacity on your vehicle. Towing capacities are always greater than payload capacities and a lot of people get confused between the two. So if you plan on towing something like this ideally i would say a half ton truck would be perfect but again there are some suvs that are capable of towing something at this weight just remember this is still relatively long at 19 feet 6 inches so it's probably as long as most tow vehicles that will be towing it relatively tall and relatively wide so a strong wind if you don't have the right hitch if you don't set it up properly will definitely dictate how you tow the vehicle let's hop inside of this unit and see what it's all about so because of all the noise at these shows, I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time outside of the RVs. We're gonna spend the more, majority of the time going into these RVs so you can see what makes them special. It has stabilizer jacks on at least the back. It does not have stabilizer jacks up front that I can see. There's not gonna be upgraded suspension mainly because it only has a single axle. And this is gonna be the 164 BHX, but their pricing applies to also the 154 RBX. We're gonna go up the steel steps. Nice friction hinge door, keeps the door from blowing around. And when you look at this thing from the inside, you can see it has a queen size bed, right? There's no divider between the bed and the living space. But this is actually really cool. And you could easily put a divider here. You could put like a rod, put a nice curtain here, and that would be a super low cost upgrade that would give you some privacy right here. There's no TV mount in place, but it is prepped for it. So you can put a TV right here if you want. And that would be the only TV you could put in this RV, which is totally fine because if you put your pillows right here, you could see the TV from this vantage point. And when you're sitting in this, which is also a jackknife sofa, it turns into a bed. You could see it from there, no problem at all. Nice comfortable seating area. You even have a nice armrest with cup holders. That is really, really cool, especially considering the fact, again, it is also a bed. And then you would pull that out so this whole thing kind of opens up. The kitchen, this is interesting induction cooktop. Again, you got to remember this is an all electric unit. So there's no gas feeding into there. So you have to have some way of, you know, cooking food. You have your microwave. It's a compact GE microwave. And then you also have a small compact refrigerator in here, your breakers and fuses. And then you have a cool little fireplace. That is awesome. You typically don't see a fireplace at all in these smaller units. And because this is also going to produce heat, you know, it's going to keep you warm because you're only sitting about three feet apart from it. That is really cool plastic undermount sink standard faucet has a nice window right there has a nice window there and there i would have kind of preferred another window right here just for more light and what would have made this absolutely amazing is if they were able to put a window up front here basically get you as much light as possible coming into these units has a ge air conditioning unit up top this is a bunkhouse unit so you have spots for the kids no windows though so this is probably where pricing kind of meets features, right? You're basically getting a, a unit that has a few less features like windows here and maybe a window up front, but it brings the pricing down to an area that's more manageable and affordable by folks, but they haven't decontented it too much. You still get things like a fireplace. You still get things like an induction cooktop, which are really nice. And going into the bathroom area. It's a functional bathroom. I do wish that this is an area they would have 
put a surround. Spend a little bit on this area, put at least a surround. These walls are impervious to water, so it's not as if it's going to rot or anything. But to cover up all the seams, things like that, it would have been nice to have this area separate from the actual toilet area. This is a plastic foot flush toilet, but it'll be effective for most folks, and there's going to be plenty of legroom in front of it. You probably have at least two feet worth of legroom before you get to the door. I say that, but then there's going to be some super tall people that try to fit, and they might not. As far as overall height, you could probably be upwards of about six foot five, six foot six, and still comfortably walk through here. But the kitchen area is really nice. You got a lot of prep space here, a lot of stuff going on. I like this unit. There's a lot going on in this unit for the size and for the price. And yes, they've decontented a little bit, but they've also added some content back to it. I do wish there were a few more windows, one up here, one over here, and maybe one for each one of these bunks, or maybe in that side access door you see on some of these. But what do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. I would love to know what your thoughts are on this unit. We're going to spend time looking at a lot more RVs. The videos may be a little shorter than you're used to, only because we're not going to spend as much time on the outside because there's so much noise out there. There's so much going on, and it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to muffle all of that. So, again, most of the time will be on the inside of these RVs. Please leave a comment. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon from another RV.